It is very irritating when your keyboard is not working in BIOS or boot menu. I also use computer a lot and I know it's pain. So in this video, I will show you some of the solutions that will solve this keyboard is not working in BIOS or boot menu. What to do if keyboard is not working in BIOS? Use another keyboard, especially PS2 keyboard. I recommend you to use PS2 keyboard. Clear the CMOS. You need to clear the CMOS. Now check whether the keyboard is working or not. Forcefully shut down the system. You need to shut down the system forcefully. How do I enable keyboard in BIOS? If keyboard is not working in BIOS, the common reason might be that the keyboard is disabled in the BIOS. However, to fix that, you need another keyboard that works in BIOS. You can use an old PS2 keyboard with a generic drivers to navigate through the BIOS. These keyboards work by default on most motherboards. So it will solve the major problem. If you don't have PS2 keyboard, no issues try using the keyboard you have but you need to plug that keyboard in usb 2.0 port or the top leftmost usb port on your motherboard that is i'm talking about primary usb port once you get into the bias you need to enable the usb support Disable the fast boot. Disable USB 3.0 on boot. Now again crash verify whether the keyboard is working or not. Does USB keyboard work in BIOS? If you have an old motherboard where primary connection were PS2, then USB keyboard might not work. This is because those old motherboards were configured keeping the PS2 connections in mind. So it defaults to a PS2 connection. To check if you have such an old motherboard, you can look at the rare input output of the motherboard panel. If you see two separate PS2 ports for keyboard and mouse, then that is an old motherboard. New motherboards have zero PS2 ports. If you have a newer motherboard, USB connection should work by default and therefore USB peripherals such as USB keyboard and mouse works in BIOS. Why keyboard is not working on boot menu? When you boot your computer, the control goes to the motherboard BIOS first. It looks at the boot sequence and tries booting from the device one by one sequentially. 
The first device with a valid bootloader or OS gets to boot. If your keyboard is not working on the boot menu, it could be caused by many factors. Some of them are keyboard drivers not initialized or recognized, USB ports not initialized, keyboard driver not supported on BIOS, or faulty USB port. Sometimes the issue is caused by faulty motherboard that is the last scenario. USB keyboard sometimes fails to work before boot. If it doesn't work and you have already tried the several methods that I have shown in this video and maybe you have a keyboard that doesn't work in BIOS.